Smart contract protocols are on the rise after Ethereum network is really becoming incredibly saturated. But what's all the first behind Cardano and is the most recent update really worth the attention Cardano has been getting? Well, apparently so, because even though Cardano has been making headlines lately, we want to also ask, will the hype last? The project still has a long run, but we want to know where it's headed. Well, in this episode of Being Crypto News, I think you should know about the benefits that the latest Cardano update will bring to the protocol and also what to expect from the protocol in the coming months. Plus, we'll explore two of the most relevant and also bullish news surrounding the project. I'm Jessica Walker and keep watching as we cover the Mary upgrade, the Cardano market and also what to expect this year, plus some bonus ADA price analysis. And as you are watching, please help us support this channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel so we can bring you better content each and every week. So first up, what is the Mary upgrade? Well, Mary is one of the two hard forks needed to move from the Shelly era to usher into the Gogan era, an era that promises to integrate multiple decentralized services and also solutions. But before we go into detail, we want to actually explain to you what these mean, Gogan and Shelly names. So you have to know Cardano's whole roadmap is based on five key stages, which each have the name of a famous thinker, scientist, and also a poet. So the first stage was the Byron stage in honor of Lord Byron to mark the foundation of Cardano. The second stage honors Percy Shelley with the decentralization era. And the third one, Gogan, is Joseph Gogan, the introduction of smart contracts. So do note that there are still two eras left in the Cardano roadmap. So expect some more developments on the protocol. And also, guys, look the characters up. The Cardano roadmap is a hefty 44 pages long. Slightly different to Satoshi's nine page white paper, but if you're an English literature fan, it's also pretty interesting. So let's go back to this update anyway. The Gogan era will bring the third party developers to the Cardano blockchain, actually generating increased self-sustaining demand for the ADA token. This means that the much awaited update will actually introduce native tokens, but also multi asset support. So all the fuss around this update is because the Gogan era will actually take Cardano closer to its promise of delivering a wide range of use cases, such as non-fungible tokens, stable coins, and also decentralized finance and more. So as Gary Vee tweeted yesterday, what is this NFT thing all about? It seems that Charles Hoskinson may be onto something. So I mean, imagine having NFTs over the Cardano network. The possibilities of this are pretty endless. According to Justin Barron on NFTs, he actually said that by using NFTs to eliminate e-commerce intermediaries, consumers can enjoy a new era of peer-to-peer -peer commerce. This revolutionary innovation that NFTs can enable will actually put the power back in the hands of the consumer. So all in all, the development is expected to be an exciting new use cases to ADA, but also pave the way for a flourishing decentralized crypto economy. And as the eras go, kudos to Cardano for branding the team for coming up with such an interesting concept with the eras. The Being Crypto team are pretty sure that the hype will ramp up every time the protocol advances through these and into the next stage. But guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So let's focus on the actual Cardano market. Well, Cardano actually went against the general trend last week with a run that brought a new all-time high of prices to the ADA coin, reaching a massive one US dollar and 48 cents. And on February the 26th, according to CoinMarketCap, it also hit a new high by market cap of 41 billion. As you can see on the blue line on the screen here, it's quite a spike. So also ADA's serious market capitalization rise made it the third largest cryptocurrency on this metric, which at the time of this recording right now, it has managed to maintain. So what can people expect this year, 2021? Well, to boost things up, Dubai-based FD7 Ventures, a cryptocurrency investment fund, actually announced that it's done with Bitcoin, sending $750 million worth of Bitcoin to purchase more Cardano and also Polkadot. So people moving their assets over to Bitcoin actually all the time, but a huge $750 million US dollars worth is something to take note of. So according to FD7 Managing Director Prancha Shand, the fund actually feels though BTC has ultimately served its purpose and that diversifying into new altcoins would actually better serve its investors. So with this move, the crypto investment fund will be selling most of their $1 billion under management to invest in the upstart of blockchains. So both ADA and DOT are high speed, low cost smart contracts, deployment networks that actually in claim to enable scalability. 
So lastly, Binance introduced ADA staking due to the popularity of this blockchain, paying out to users an estimated 21.79% APY, which is a pretty impressive return. So these moves in the beginning of 2021 were undoubtedly so bullish for Cardano, but it also helped to boost the price and hype prior to this third largest update. So we'll have to see how these developments play out for Cardano. And now it's time for our ADA price analysis, which I'm sure you guys have been waiting for. And I must say there's really nothing bearish about this ADA chart right now. The price closed significantly higher in February than in January, hitting a record high of one US dollar and 48 cents. Now it's likely for the price to retrace even more, probably an interesting buy zone for ADA investors is around that one US dollar mark. This area actually offers investors an interesting chance for the long run. So let me know if you guys are interested in holding Cardano for the rest of the year. So guys, now as a recap, Cardano has really been positioning itself as a major project to take on the smart contract race. The concept's there, but is there enough action? Well, we'll have to wait and see if Cardano can put its money or its market cap where its mouth is. With all this talk of Ethereum killers, will the Ethereum and Cardano's coexist in this really fast paced environment? Let me know in the comments below. Being Crypto News releases new videos every single Tuesday and Thursday, so don't miss another video by subscribing to this YouTube channel.